I, Preeti Birla, Assistant Professor of Biani Group of Colleges, welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO and the presenting topic for today is Communication Barriers and Their Improvement. Yes, communication is really a crucial word and barriers of course, they of course come in communication. But we can improve them while practicing lots of things, keeping them in mind while doing communication. The first one is meaningful, clear and brief message. In any type of communication, whether that is written, oral, visual, all three types of communication, if we keep that in mind, the communicated thing should be meaningful, that should be clarity and the brief message. There should not be excessive message for the uh, uh, audience so that they don't understand what is the exact message point is. Second one is ideal behavior. The behavior of both respondent and the communicator has to be ideal according to the decorum. If one is orally communicating, the another that is audience has to be quiet and listening the uh, communicator. Third one is use of seven C's. One should use the seven C's propounded by lots of theorist, eminent theorist of communication that is completeness in oral also and in written also. The message should be complete. Second one is clarity. The message should be in speaking also, in writing also, clear and clearly versioned. Third one is consideration. One should consider the audience because the communication is done for the audience. So one should take the consideration of audience whether they are getting or not. Fourth one is kachi. Yes, up to the mark kachi label also has to be maintained in the communication. Communicator has to be polite, humble and kachi towards the audience. Fifth one is conciseness. The message should be concise and precise, not lengthy enough. If one is narrating something, has to be very concise and precise in narration. Fifth and sixth one is correctness. The message should be depicted in a correct manner, using correct language, correct spellings in writing and etc. And last one is here, continuous communication. One should not take the break between communication. Yes, of course, in written and oral communication. If you are addressing your audience, what you are supposed to do is, you should take a good amount of break and a pause in between communication. So that it will be comfortable situation for audience so that they can get comfortless as well as conscious communication. Cooperation, yes of course. The cooperation from both the sides, that is from sender side and that is from receiver side. There should be cooperation between both the parties, that is sender and receiver. If they don't cooperate with the things, then it will be problematic. There should be good working condition and there should be adequate size of a scholar chain. There should not be long scholar chain between the communication. Then there should be attentiveness to from the sender and receiver both. And Trust, yes of course, trust is a very, very, very important thing in the communication. It's a milestone of communication. If sender feels that receivers are not getting me, they are not believing me, then the communication will be barrier and hurdle. If receivers thinks that sender is not giving me the particular thing in a right manner, then trust will not be there. So there should be proper amount of trust in communication process and lastly the open mindedness from the receiver and sender both the side. So here I conclude the things, the improvement of communication barriers. For further queries you can visit www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you and thank you.